Into the Radius is by far the best VR survival game out there. First thing I have to admire is the combat. The combat in Into the Radius is so favorable and immersive. When I'm in a gunfight, in real life I crouch down and tuck my head in like I'm actually in a fight. Oh shit! Oh I, don't, I didn't see him. Whew. The thing that can't be unnoticed is the variety of weapons. For instance, this revolver had me freaking out. <laughs> the fucking revolver! Oh, I need to try that sometime. What I like about the variety of guns in Into the Radius is that each gun has different velocities. Basically, the velocity on a gun is just how fast a bullet travels. What takes this game to another level of realism is taking care of your weapon. In Into the Radius, you have to make sure that your weapons don't start to decay. Just seeing the realism on taking care of your gun so it doesn't jam on you mid-fight is just badass. Weapon cleaning in the apocalypse is like the ultimately the best thing ever. The atmosphere in Into the Radius makes the average person person to be more cautious of their surroundings uh oh i hear someone coming please i don't like that at all i can't even see it into the radius can make you very jumpy at some tense moments oh god please especially please, please exploring be, the outdoors in the There's middle of the night please my almighty shotgun God damn, it's so dark. The very realistic looting system and finding loot in cabinets and shelves is pretty cool. I opened an oven door and found two AK magazines. Isn't that just weird and sick at the same time? Being able to find guns around the map and oh, in these oh cool God, loot containers are very exciting. A DB? Oh, yeah, you're useless. Sometimes it feels like I'm playing a gacha game. Please, 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 some good. I'll take it, honestly. Now let's see what missions we got today. The unique part in this game is the side quest missions. There is a bunch of different types of missions in the game, but my favorite mission is the extermination one. It's basically where you have to kill all of the anomalies and destroy the spawner, but sometimes it can be very dangerous. And as a tip, make sure you come well prepared, unlike me. Why is there so much footsteps already? Oh my god. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, as you can see, I only had two shotgun shells left, and there was too many enemies. Okay, maybe I do fall back for now. Oh, that guy got a fucking AR! Oh shit. As you can see, luck was not on my side. Hiding behind a very skinny tree, I had to reload all my magazines during the fight. After this encounter, I somehow made it out alive after killing all the monsters. Enough of the time when I got surprise attacked by a whole army of monsters. Let's talk about another amazing feature in Into the Radius. The Tide. And if you don't know what the Tide is, let me tell you. The Tide resets the map and respawns all the loot and the loot is of course randomized. But there's one thing, it responds all the monsters as well. And once you've beat all the hard enemies and thinking it's all over, the tide will come and hit you. It is time to kill them all over again. And this is why Into the Radius is one of the best, I meant the best survival VR game out there. There's one thing in this game that is not acknowledged, it is the different types of enemies. If you're new to the game by any chance, 
I want to just let you know I might spoil the enemies, but if you guys don't mind for me to spoil the enemies, keep watching, because this this might help you later. Fragments. Fragments are the first enemies that you will encounter in into the radius. They are pretty weak. A few shots into the stomach will make them blow up. Then you will have to stab the core or shoot the core, shown on screen. Yeah, my knife's about to break soon. You have 15 seconds before the fragment will recollect itself and start attacking you once more. Next up are the phantoms. The phantoms are the hardest ones to see in the game, as they are transparent. They are more easier to see with a light, but if you don't have a light, you can usually hear them. The phantoms and fragments are almost alike. They move in the same way and act the same, but the phantoms don't have a core. Mimic Policemen. Mimic Policemen are very dangerous in the start of the game. They carry pistols that are alike of the Makarov. With only running around with a PM or a Makarov once you first start, it will be challenging for new players to fight against them, as the pistol is a little weak on the far range side. But if you play smart and get some cover between you and the Mimic, you might be able to defeat it. I would go on and on about explaining every single character detail about every enemy, but I feel like it's getting a little too long here and a repetitive, so we're gonna switch up a little bit. Now let's talk about the maps in the game. What I love about Into the Radius is the maps don't ever get smaller, they only get bigger. And in every map you can find notes that have hidden stashes, and in these stashes you can find weapons and ammo to help you out later on in the future. And that's why I think this is the best VR survival game out there. And if I miss any important details, let me know down in the comments. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.